Morning, folks. Welcome back. Today I'm doing a tribute to Alexandra. It's female of Alexander, the Scottish name. Alexandra is like Alexander. R I N A. So it's Alex Rena. Alex Rena, and everybody called her Rena. R E N A. Rena McDonald. And as a lovely write-up, her obituary, she's died at age 99, gone to heaven, and today, Thursday, the 27th day of July 2023. Alex Rena, brackets Rena, everybody know her again, lady is Rena, Rena McDonald, age 99, and McClellan's Brook, formerly a stellar and passed away peacefully at home on the 26th of June, July, excuse me, July, 26th of July, 2023, surrounded by family. Born in Scotland. Now, she, she was born in Scotland in 1924, so she came to Canada. She came to Canada. She's quite, I don't know this for a fact, but quite possibly late husband was a veteran. Very possible, because World War II broke up 1939. She'd be 15 years old. By the end of the war, she would have been 21. So she, she came to he was no doubt would have been a Pictou County Hollander if, in fact, he's a veteran. And she came to Nova Scotia. Interestingly, on the Siege of X Noon Hour News, this fall in September is going to be the 250th anniversary of the ship Hector, the first uh, Protestant Scottish settlers come over by the shipload to Picto, ship Hector in 1773, which is 250 years ago. So this lady came to, was born in Scotland. And on the Isle of Call, C O L L, Call, her her mother's maiden name was uh, Nicholson, and her father's name was McGinnis. So she came to New Glasgow, a former employee of Zellers, and operated McDonald's Bed and Breakfast. She also was manageress of the Sterling Fruit Farm Apples. Sterling Apples at the uh, Alma, right? The big white building before they changed the trends. Can I wait? Just be on the river and overpass. I bought apples for a boy in, in 1976. That's 46 years ago now. And she had some heart issues. And they had a, a warming boot, kind of like a boot because it'd be cold in the spring, wintertime in the spring. And it was a heater in there. And, but she was a cap She'd take those hampers of apples and she could. She was a capable cat. There's a lovely picture of her here today in the paper. And she's not, she's definitely not a very gracious, kind, wonderful lady. She's definitely not anorexic. So, so much for little old ladies. She, very gracious, late life picture of her. And she's a, she's an able, very able lady. And she takes and, uh, and she was a lovely lady. She, she loved people and people loved her. And so her wake is going to be tomorrow from 2 to 4 and 7 to 9. On Friday the 28th at the uh, H.C. Macquarie Funeral Home. And they have a big chapel there. And then Saturday morning the 29th they will have her, her funeral service. But a wonderful lady. I haven't seen her for years. But the lady's name again is Alex Rina. They called her Rena. Rena. R-E-N-A. Rena. Rena McDonald. And she she came. She immigrated from the nation of Scotland to Picto and... And you've got to love the Pictou County people. Maybe not all their politicians, but you're going to love the people of Pictou. They're, one, they're wonderful people. So she, she came from Scotland to Pictou County, Nova Scotia, and she, she's she gone to heaven now at age 99. And I give my sympathies to her family. We'll say a prayer for this lady. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are thee among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, thy baby Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for sinners now, not there of her debt. Amen. And she was a wonderful lady. No doubt she's up in heaven now, waiting for the apple harvest to come in to distribute apples to August apples to start next month. So she was was her life very well lived, a remarkable lady, Rena McDonald, affectionately known as the Apple Lady. The apple Lady. And she she loved people. She had heart issues from the time, now in her mid-50s, early 50s, but she lived in 99, and she was a very pleasant lady, and she smiled. And the lesson for all of us is, when you're smiling and you're pleasant like her, a little bit of heart troubles <laughs> didn't shorten her life one bit. She, she was just expired of old age, it seems, that just a little bit shy of her, she would have, actually, 99 would have been 100 years, technically, wouldn't she? 
shy of her 100th birthday, but in her 100th year, 99 years out. Thank you. All the best. God bless. Bye for now.